Inspiration, take one. Uh, make no mistake, uh, <clears throat> my thought process right now is influenced by James Sweeney and uh, some of the poetry he reads on his YouTube channel. This is what I got. Uh, topic of conversation um, is two days ago. Uh, we're on 24 February 2015. Two days ago, I took a bay attempt, and whereas the camera didn't really capture it, it was rather intense. So, the intensity of that topic is what I'd like to share. And, like I said, this is take one. So, I'm going to drink. Sweeney, if you ever see this, brother. Oh, man. Got rot, brother influence quit drinking drink beer this is all ad lib too nothing of this is written down as I sit there in my cold bunker well it seems like a bunker it's dry it gives me nosebleeds and it's cold it's real dry in the other room I have my dog he's a good boy he comes up he licks my face he actually licks the dribble from my nose and uh, I think he appreciates the salt content that comes from that I stand there, I roll cigarette after cigarette, and I come to when I think, well, it's time to do something. It's been a long week. I volunteer with the Veterans Adventures of New England, and I'm damn good at it. I help people for a living. That's just what I do. But I can go backwards, I can go forwards, and I can stand my ground and stay neutral. The snow's up to my waist. It's deep, and it's scary deep. It's very cold, and the girth of it, the sheer weight of the snow, comes down, and as I penetrate and I walk I continue to move on it builds up pushes down on me I'm scared but I got this I can climb right out where's my dog son of a bitch where's my dog want my fucking dog all right, we got to go that way. Several steps out, maybe ten. I stop, and I look at the skyline, and I say, well, isn't that nice? But I want to go that way. So I flex a muscle, I shake my dick and I fucking move. Well, after all, that's where I tell my dog, fucking move. Go. Go. You go. But that little man did it without fail every time. Well, just one day. I say to myself, I moved on, and I picked up his jacket. It was a little trek, maybe two miles. But with snow with him standing to my waist at maybe 2.5 feet, he was buried twice fold scary thought 
but he did it. He fucking moved. So I'm sitting there on the edge of the bay, bored out of my mind, and I say, well, fucking move. And it was a beautiful thing. It was the most extraordinary decision I have ever made in my life. I said, yes, right there, I'm doing it. We're going to go. And I went. Then I made it back. And I sat down and I said, where's my fucking dog? Now you have to understand. The pitter patter of little tiny combat boots. Well, it does something for me. And I trained that dog since he was just a wee little boy. Where's my dog? My dog, he's so cool. He's so fucking cool that while I'm sitting on the edge of the bank, he would probably look out and say, okay, we got this. We can do it this way. This way. Go that way. Heed your own advice and go that way. And I nod. So I'm on the bank of this bay. And I decide, well, I'm going to go that way. And you know what I told my dog? I said, well, we're going to get wet. We're going to get wet. But the undenying truth of the fact of the matter is, is that if we got wet, we wouldn't last 15 minutes. Snow as thick as several inches and a hundred and thirty pound human. Well, I'm going to go that way. My dog was with me in spirit and he was a good boy. He followed me through because every step of the way I thought about him. And I said, well, when I got capsized and I became hypothermic and I swam my ass back to shore, I said, we go that way. And those were my own words. So the little man was essentially with me in spirit. I took the first step. And the first step was amazing. Because it not only built confidence in myself, my beliefs, the system of in which of which I do things became evident. And it said to me, You're it. Go that way or else. Or else you are going to back off on your own words of advice. And I went that way. And I do not regret a single thing. It was rather amazing. Second step. And I'm sitting there. Smashing rocks. Smashing the ice to make sure that my next step wasn't going to be 15 seconds or less. Get me? And it just rinse and repeat. But I wish I had my dog. My boy is a superhero. Stan Lee is a superhero. But so is Buddy. Take one. I'm drinking. Influenced by Sweeney. I hope you see this too, you motherfucker. Grumpy old goat. I love you, man. You are you are a superhero. Drinking some brandy. Thank you for your support, your influence, and thank you 
for the terror patter of little tiny combat boots. Peace out.